how about your best memory from K Juice? Oh my God, K Juice! Yeah, it was my first time actually being a DJ. Maybe one or two people were listening. Like literally at UC Santa Barbara, there is the radio station for the college students, and K Juice is like for when you started out, before you become a real radio DJ. I never ever became a real radio DJ. I I lived in K Juice land, where like it's only played into like the library, <laughs> and who's gonna listen to the K Juice in the library? Yeah, right. Because I had all, all these records. I started collecting all this vinyl, and I would play these records and I was really playing for myself and try to find out if anyone was listening. And um, yeah, I would like go to the public library and be like, yo, you listen to K-Juice? <laughs> just randomly <laughs> ask people. And they'd be like, what's that? Like no one knew what it was. So your best buddy Dan told me you almost started DJing out of necessity initially because you just needed money. Um, you were going under the name DJ Kid Millionaire and you said you were screwing up a ton initially. Uh, yeah. How so? I was sucked as a DJ then. Like, I could barely mix. I was horrible. But I, I'm surprised they even let me DJ. I'm like, I'm like why are we? <laughs> I mean, I was like train wrecking a lot because I didn't have a set. I would have to practice at the gig. I didn't have turntables at my, at my apartment. Um, so I would practice before I would show up for like an hour or two so I could learn how to beat match before every gig. The name, DJ Kid Millionaire, people always ask like, where'd that come from? I was playing this record, Millionaire, and there, there was an MC that came up, yo, I'm like, let me MC for you. He's like, what's your name? What's your DJ name? And I was playing Millionaire uh, by Khalees, and there's a line right when I was playing where, where Andre, the, Andre 3000 says, mama, I'm a millionaire. So I said, I am mama millionaire. And he's like, you're not a girl, like, you should be papa billionaire. So this is live, like he's live talking to me right now, like while I'm DJing. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm like, Papa Billionaire? That's weird, that sounds old. Call me Kid Millionaire, you know? And that's really where it came. It's like, yo, we got DJ Kid Millionaire. I'm like, whoa, that sounds actually pretty cool. I'm gonna go with that one. And you were doing gigs where somebody would pay you $50, but then th they thought you were so bad that they'd let you come back, but they were gonna pay you less. Oh yeah, that time. happened yeah. a lot of times. I mean, I, I, I was lucky to even get paid. And then one gig I played, most of the time I was playing for free just because I, I needed to get my head in the door. I would be bringing in equipment. It would cost like, like $100, I'd have rent it. And then they'd pay me 50 bucks. So I'm like, yo, God, I'm losing money. Right. I'm playing for four hours for you. And I'm like, I'm like literally out at 50 bucks. Can I, can I get 100 next time? He's like, no, I'm gonna pay you 40 next time. I mean, it was like, I don't know. It was okay, you know, I'm like, 40? I have to pay $60? Like, I can't do this. This is not sustainable for me. Right. You know, because I was like, I was looking for anywhere to play. And it, that's just how it was at that time, you know? Playing for 20 people is actually, is, was great. Because when I was in bands, playing for 20 people was, a, was like a sold out living room. Your first time you played in front of people in a band, you wouldn't look anybody in the eye and like your friend. Yeah, uh, but then, like, there's living like, room. literally, yeah. there's more people here than like the shows I was playing. Yeah. I was playing in front of like five to 10 people. Right. You know, so it's hard to look at five people in the eye. <laughs> They're like, they feel uncomfortable already. <laughs>